Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 14, 2021. If you like to support John, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll stop and looking at ARK Innovation, and as you can see, we're down roughly 2% today. And uh, momentum in the market in general, probably especially in the tech market, which is fairly overstretched at this moment, could uh, be fairly bearish uh, the next uh, few days, probably the next few weeks. Um, so that will, of course, have an effect on this um, ETF. We have seen that we have fallen from the rally. Uh, we have dropped roughly 7.77%. And we're trading at 122 at this current stage. Momentum is still to the downside. We can see that we are underneath the middle of the bullish band and we could drop towards the bottom. And that is roughly underneath that 50 moving average at this current stage, 114. MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So momentum is still to the downside. And we are finding massive resistance at 150 moving average. So let's look at DVI. So DVI also found resistant here at the 20 exponential. It has struggled at the 20 exponential for quite some time now. We rallied up here and down, down. And so it looks like we are just going to continue going kind of sideways. But this uh, it is probably just a matter of time before we take out these previous lows there and head towards the 150 moving average if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential. You can see that. We are struggling in the middle of the Bullinger Band here, and it looks like at this point we're breaking down towards the bottom of the Bullinger Band. So another drop, uh, another decline of roughly 1.59% uh, to the downside. Uh, MACD is still is flat in negative territory. RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and stochastic is bullish at this point. So, but the struggle at the 20 exponential that should be a warning, warning sign that this could drop significantly lower. So let's look at. Uh, VTI. So VTI has also fallen today, minus 0.56%. And now it kind of looks like we're dropping towards the middle of the bullish band, which is roughly at 222. So that is where the, we'll find the 20 exponential, and that's a drop of 1.14% to the downside. We can see the MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off here. The RSI is bearish, CCI is still bullish, and stochastic is also bullish. So it may take some time before we fall. And we have found support at the 20 exponential, 40, and the 50 in the past. We have eventually broken below the 50 moving average, but these other moving averages have been holding quite significantly. If we drew, do drop below the 40 exponential, then we could drop all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band. And that's a drop at this current stage of roughly 3.35% to the downside. So let's look at MCHI. So this has tried to rally today and then gave most of those gains back. We're still up at 1.11%. And we may see this continue to rally as uh, these technical indicators are turning around. So MACD is still very bearish, but it is leveling off, and uh, and and it looks like we are going to see uh, this uh, rally at this point. RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic has crossed the signal line, but it's still in negative territory. But it is becoming bullish. So last time we ran into resistant it was at the hundred at the fifty moving average and the hundred moving average. So if we we may see this rally up towards the hundred. Um, the 100 moving average, and that's a rally of roughly 4.08% to the upside. Uh, we found massive resistance down here at the 74, and but kind of got significantly oversold, basically gapped down and so on. So a rally was always going to happen after that. But uh, 100 moving average should be um, resistant, and uh, down here is the 75 level we should be support. So let's look at IBB. So IBB is down 0.35%. And at this current stage, it also looks like we are going to target the middle of the bullish band. 
drop of 1.74% to the downside. 20, 40, and the 50 moving average have all offered support in the past. This has been an amazing run to the upside and uh, kind of just buying on the dips has been uh, the strategy here. The MACD is uh, still bullish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is also bullish. But this pullback here, end of the US session, is kind of a warning sound that we are going to drop before going higher. So, I hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.